<clears throat> All right. Good morning. Now, my name, for those of you who don't know, is Abby. Um, I'm one of the MBL1 players. I'm uh, the captain of the youth league team and I coach the under 12 three girls. There's a couple of familiar faces in here, which is really nice. So we're, today's going to consist of four different rounds and then we're going to have a finisher at the end. So each round, we're going to have two exercises that go for 45 seconds each, and we're going to do them twice, okay? One of those will be a dribbling or a ball handling exercise. The other one's going to be a strength exercise, okay? <clears throat> now, <clears throat> to get started, we're going to get nice and warm. So, sorry, one second. I'll just move this. Okay. So in your space that you've got, we're just going to start with some high knees. So high knees on the spot. Get those knees moving. Awesome work. So really bring your knees up nice and high. Now let's go to butt kicks. So kicking your butt. Awesome work. Back to high knees. And back to bike kicks. All right, now what we're going to do is get down in a squat. You want your knees to be over your toes. So we're going to squat down, stand back up. Good job. So imagine that you're sitting back on a chair, your butt should be going backwards. Awesome work. As you stand up at the top, squeeze your butt together. So really tense those glutes. <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna get into some lunges. So lunge down and then step forward, switch legs. Awesome work. Make sure your knees are in line with your toes. What I don't wanna see is this. When we lunge down, I don't wanna see this. So knees in line with your toes. Good work. Keep going. Couple more. Let's get back into some squats. Awesome job. Now, Back into lunges again, let's make them a little bit faster. So instead of stepping into it, we're gonna jump into it this time. So we're here. Good. Keep going guys, make sure those knees are in line with your toes. Awesome job. Now we're gonna do really fast skips on the spot. So this is called an A skip. We're not going to jump up really high, just only a centimetre or two off the ground. And it's just really quick, moving those feet and arms. Good job, keep going. All right, now we're going to make them higher skips. So same thing, but this time we're going to reach up to the sky and we're going to jump really high. It's here. Good work, keep going. Back to baby skips. So it's a really quick one. And big skips, so as high as you can get up. Three, two, one. All right, are we feeling nice and warm? Awesome, okay, so, whew, I'm feeling nice and warm. Now, everyone needs their basketball for this next bit. So what we're going to do, I'm just gonna fix my hair. Our first exercise is going to be just simply a pound with our right hand to our knee, okay? We're gonna be down in our stance and I want you to be working that ball as hard and as fast as you can. Our second exercise, when I say switch, 
is going to be <clears throat> jump lunges, but with a crossover between the legs. So we're going to be like this. Okay. So that's our two exercises. We're going to do them twice each and then we'll get a little break. Okay. So if you need a quick drink, now's your time to get one before we go to our next bit. Yes, Cody? Um, with the pounds, are we doing pounds each side? Yes. So we'll do pounds on our right first, second time round pounds on our left. Okay. Great question. All right. So when we are ready, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. So pound it up to your knee. Keep those eyes up and stay down in your stance. Good job. So I should see you all sitting down on that chair like we were when we did those squats. We've got 15 to go. Keep going. Really work it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so now we've got we've got jump lunges crossing it between the legs. Let's go. Now, if that's really hard, what you can do is take a dribble here, then cross it over. Dribble, cross. Whichever option is better for you, go with that one. Good job. We've got 30 seconds, oh, 20 seconds to go. Sorry, keep going. Got a runaway ball this morning. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, back to left hand pounds. Let's go. Get down your stance. So now I don't want to see this. I want to see you sitting on your chair. So hold yourself accountable. Get down your stance, Ava. You're standing up tall. I know your legs are burning, guys. Mine are too. Good work. Really pound that ball. See how fast you can get it moving. You're going to get down your stance a bit more. You're bending through your back. Left-handed pounds, we're still going. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, now we're into jump lunges with that crossover. Let's go. See how many you can get in this time. Really challenge your handles and challenge your legs. We got 20 seconds to go. Work really hard, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Grab a quick drink. All right, now, who's feeling a bit puffed after that? Pop your hand up. Awesome, that's what we want, okay. Round two, we have got speed crossovers. So by that, I mean, we're down in our stance. That ball is really low and it's moving as quickly as we can get it to move. Okay, but I don't wanna see little dribbles on the spot like this. We're moving it from side to side quickly, okay? Exercise number two for this set is going to be a side lunge with a jump squat. So how that works, we're gonna hold our ball. We're going to lunge out to the side. So I'm gonna step my foot this way. This knee is bent. My other knee is straight. This knee doesn't come past my toes. So I'm sitting down in that chair, but to the side, coming back to the middle and jumping. Side, middle, jump. Okay. Now one thing 
it is really common with this one, is what kids will do is they'll bend forward, their knee comes over their toes. I don't want that, I want you to go down to the ground, okay? All right, so first up we've got crossovers in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Move that ball. Good. As fast as you can possibly move it. You should feel like your arms are gonna fall off. Good, really good. Try not to sway with the ball because that'll make you slower. Keep your tummy tucked in tight, your legs bent, and the ball is what's moving and your arms. Keep going, guys. Dig really deep here. We got 15 to go, let's go. See if you can get 30 dribbles in. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we've got our lunge to the side, come to the middle and jump. See how high you can get. So we're jumping and landing, then we're going to the next side. Good, good, stay low. So we're not standing up as we come back from our lunge. We're down low, we stay low, then we explode. Think soft knees. Keep going guys. Nice work, really good Jasmine. Awesome work Cade. Make sure you land softly. Stay low the whole time Reed. you're standing up in the middle. So stay low, stay low, then explode. We don't wanna lose power from our legs. We have 10 seconds to go, let's keep going. Good, Ava, stay lower. I know your legs are hurting, guys. Good, keep going, Katie, you've got it. Three, two, one. Okay, back to crossovers, let's go down this stamp. This gives our legs a little rest. Let's get those arms moving. Good, Ava, you can get that ball moving faster. I've seen you do it before. So don't shift from the side. It's down nice and low. Our body stays still. The ball is moving. Awesome job, Kay. That looks great. Job, Jasmine. Awesome work, Reed. Good, good, good job, guys. Katie, keep those eyes up. Get it down in your stance. Straight bend from your back. Keep going, guys. We've got 10 seconds to go. See if you can get in 30 dribbles. Really challenge yourself. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, back to jump the squats. So to the side and jump. So stay low the whole time, then come up. Good. Landing with soft knees. Let's keep going, guys. We've got 30 seconds to go, then we get a rest. Just 30 seconds. And I feel that burn too, don't you worry. We're in this together, let's go. So land with soft knees, stay down in that stance as you step into the side. Imagine you're starting with that first defensive step and you're trying to beat your defender. But you're, sorry, stay in front of the player you're defending. Five, four, three, two, and one. Grab a quick drink. All right, who's feeling a bit puffed? I love that, awesome. So all it takes is 30 minutes to get a really good workout in. So in the week, if you're feeling a bit, bit bored and you need something to do, they're recording this and they're gonna put it back up, you can do it again. Yeah, all the ones with Cassie. There are also skill sessions, I'm sure you guys are all aware of. All right, now we have two more rounds. Round three. We have an in and out dribble. So our first dribble is going to be with our right hand, first time through. So all an in and out dribble is, here's a crossover, but we're not switching hands. So it's over and back. Okay. Then the second time through, we'll go to the other hand like this. What I don't want to see is a hand on your knee like this, because what that does is it makes it easier on our legs. We want to, I want to have your hand up. If you need to think about having an arm bar, and get that ball moving. Our other exercise for this one 
are mountain climbers. So we got to get down. I'm dripping a little bit with sweat, sorry. Our hands are underneath our shoulders. Our feet are out straight and we're in a plank. And then what we're going to do is run. So we get our knees up nice and high and we stay in this position and we run, okay? What I don't want to see is this, okay? And I don't want to see this. So I don't want to see backs up really high. I don't want to see them sinking down. So we're a plank. If that gets really hard and you start to feel it in your back and not in your tummy and your legs, what I want you to do is go down onto your knees. So like this, and then we just bring our knees up from here, okay? So those are your two options, but don't take the easy option just because you're feeling tired. Yeah, give it a go first, and then if you need to, switch it over, all right? So we've got in and out with our right hand in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Awesome job, keep that hand off of your knee. Don't touch your knee. Good, get that ball moving. Who can move it faster than me? Don't sway with the ball, Cody. I reckon Jasmine might have me. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one. We're getting down for mountain climbers. So are getting down on the ground into that plank and we're running. Good job. I'm just going to make sure you guys are doing it correctly. Good work. Keep your bum down to the ground, Cade. Bum down to the ground, Reed. Awesome, Jasmine. Bum down to the ground, Sienna. It's up a bit high. Good work, Ava. Nice, Kira. Good job, Chase. Keep going. You've got it. Oh, getting a bit hot. Okay. Let's go, guys. Keep going. We've got 20 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, grab your ball. We're going to the other hand now. I don't know where mine's gone. Oh, there it is. So same thing down our stance. We've got in and out. Let's go. So get, don't have a hand on your leg like that. Hands up. Good job. So I don't want to see you shifting with the ball. I want to see the ball moving and your body staying still. Awesome work, guys. Keep going. Okay, you stay down in that stance. Don't bend from your back. You can go faster, Kira. I've seen it before. Good job, guys. Keep going. Keep going. We've got 10, 9. See how many you can get in. 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We've got mountain climbers again. Last time getting down on the ground like this. Let's go. We got 45 seconds. Get those legs moving. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Get that butt down to the floor, Reed. Keep going, Katie, you can do it. Dig really deep. Good job, girls. Keep going, Kira, you've got it. Keep going, girls. Good job, Sarah. Keep your butt down to the floor. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders. Good job. Now, if you're really struggling, you can do it on your knees. Keep going, don't stop moving though. Good job, Chase. Keep going, keep going. We've got five, four, three, keep going two, and one. Awesome work, guys. Grab a drink. All right, we've got one round to go. Now, this round, we've got a yo-yo. So, 
It's the same thing as an in and out, but it's going to be beside our body. So instead of going in front like this, the ball goes forwards and back. Okay. So first time round, it's going to be with our right. Second time round, with our left. Okay. Now what I don't want to see is us leaning like this. I don't want to see you standing up tall, leaning down to the side like this to be able to get there. We've got to be square. Our shoulders are in line with our knees and everything is pointing forward and the ball is moving beside us. Okay. Then our second exercise, we're going to hold our basketball and we're doing a ladder. So what I mean by that is we go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in as fast as we can. So doing it at speed, it'll look like this. Okay. So by the end of it, your legs should be burning. All right. But remember, this is our last round. So give it everything that you've got. Okay, guys. So we're starting with our yo-yo in five, four, three, two, one. Get down in that stance and get that ball moving. Good. Even lower, Ava. We're halfway through this one. Keep going, guys. Oh. See how many reps you can get in. 20 seconds to go. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're into our ladder. Let's go. Out, out, in, in. Awesome job, keep going. See how fast you can get those legs moving. They should be moving faster than mine. Halfway, keep going. Stay on your toes. Don't be flat footed. Think quick feet, you should feel it burning in your calves. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one yo-yo on the left. Let's go. Good job, guys. Stay down nice and low in your stance. Uh, Katie, you're starting to bend through your back. Don't bend through your back. Stay down low in your stance. So we're sitting on that imaginary chair. Keep going, guys. Keep going, keep going. We got 20 to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, into ladder, last one, let's go. 45 seconds of work, then we're done. So in, in, out, out. Get those feet moving as fast as you can, guys. Let's go, Katie, get them moving. Good. Twenty-five seconds to go. See if you can do at least fifty steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go. Fast, fast, fast. Quick as you can go on your toes. Fifteen. Ten to go. See how many steps you can get in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. All right, guys. Now, before we finish, we've got a finisher. So by that, what I mean, we've got one more round. I know I said we were done. We've got one more. We only do them once each. So we've got a 45 second plank or a hover. And then we've got 45 seconds to see how many push-ups you can do. Okay. And then we are 
done and we'll do a little bit of stretching before we finish. Okay, so a hover. Same thing as before, but we're gonna be down on our elbows. So make a triangle with your arms like this. You can interlock your hands if you want to. We're going to be down nice and flat like this and just holding it. So I don't wanna see this. I don't wanna see this, okay? If it gets really hard and you start to feel it in your back, what I want you to do instead is go to your knees like this. Okay, there's nothing wrong with doing that, but don't take the easy option, option just because, okay? Then our second one, we've got push-ups. So for all of my under 12s that are here, I want you to do them on your knees, okay? <clears throat> yeah, anyone else who can't do a proper push-up and get really deep, I want you to do them on your knees as well. Um, they, there's nothing wrong with doing them on your knees. It just means that we get more range of motion and we get stronger through our chest and our shoulders. Okay, rather than just going down to this deep as opposed to this deep. Okay, does everyone understand? Give me a thumbs up if you know what we're doing. All right, so let's get down on the ground. We've got a 45 second plank to start with. All right, ready. Three, two, one, let's hold it. Awesome work guys, now I'm doing this with you too, but I'm also watching you, so don't cheat yourself. If you're starting to feel a little bit sore, a little bit tired, try and think of something or you can shift your body forwards and back, side to side. Just stay in this position. That's 20 seconds down. All right, we're over halfway, that's 25. Keep going, now keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. That's gonna make it harder for you. We've got 10. Stay down low, keep going guys, you've got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now we've got push-ups. We've got 45 seconds. Pump out as many as you can do. Let's go. Good job, guys. Keep going. Good work, Sarah. Put your hands underneath, directly underneath your shoulders. Don't have them out in front. Down below. Yeah, that's better. Good, keep going guys. Awesome work. See if you can get down a little bit lower, Jasmine. We want depth. Good work guys, keep going. Keep going, Kate. you've got it. Guys, we've got 15 seconds to go. Let's go, see if you can get in 10 more. Three two and one awesome work all right Whew. okay now we've got only a really small amount of time left to do some stretching so what i want you guys to do afterwards is if you've got a dog maybe take them for a walk um drink lots of water and do your own stretching in your own time but what we're going to do is a couple of my favorite and what i think are the most important stretches so we're gonna get down on our knees like this. We're gonna tuck our, our um, pelvis in. So we tilt it upwards and then we're gonna lean forward. So you should feel a stretch all through this back leg. Awesome work, keep holding it. Good work, everyone. All right, now switching sides. So other leg comes up. Tilt your pelvis forwards and lean into it. Now, if that doesn't give you enough of a stretch, if you're pretty flexible, what you can do is get the arm of the leg that's at the back and lean over towards the leg that's in the front. So you'll look like this. So I'm here, I'm leaning over towards this knee that's up in front. Good work, all right, now next one. We're going to jump onto our back, bring our knee, over towards our other hip. Should feel a really nice glute stretch here. So we wanna try and feel it at the back of our leg here. If you can't feel it really well with that, interlock your, your knees like this. So bring one over and pull your legs down towards you. But the straighter that you can keep this bottom leg, 
the more of a stretch you'll get through the glute. Awesome work. And switching sides. All right, our next stretch. We're going to get our knee in front, lay it down like this flat. Our back leg is going to be straight and we're leaning down into it. Awesome work. Now, you can't quite get that. So front leg is flat on the ground if you can get it to be flat. Our back leg is straight and we're trying to lay down. Now, I'm pretty flexible at this one. So if you look like this, that's fine. You can't get your knee down to the ground, no problems. But try and keep that back leg straight. So you should have one leg that's directly back behind you. Awesome work. Now take a few deep breaths here. Let's breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Awesome work. All right, let's switch it over to the other side. So other leg is forwards. That back leg is straight and we're leaning down into it. Good work, everyone. All right, now, awesome work today. Who's feeling like they got something out of that just then? Yeah, feeling a little bit tired. So now go have something to have to eat as a snack, something healthy, drink some water and go for a bit of a walk later if you can, because your legs might be feeling a little bit sore. But absolutely awesome job, guys. I hope you're all doing okay with um, online learning, remote learning. And I hope to see you this time next week for another killer. All right, awesome job, everyone. See you guys. Thank you. That's all right. My pleasure. Bye. See you. Thank you. See you guys. Bye.